What's up, everybody? So in this one, we're going to be talking about Natasha Jonas. So Natasha Jonas is the current super welterweight unified champ. There's only one belt left, and Terry Harper has that. But they're not fighting quite yet. But I'm going to let you know all the tools, and I'll give you some tips that you can use when you're using Natasha Jonas. So I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to get right into it. But you need to hear. It's, it's quite a few things you have to work with with Natasha Jonas. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, please. So Natasha Jonas, the first thing of note, she has good height, good reach. And you're going to hear a lot of good when it comes to Natasha Jonas. She is solid all around. She's a very solid pick, but there's still something she specializes in. She's good at a lot of things. Only Southpaw that's on the roster. Not only that, 83 overall is solid. I'm not even going to mention the fighting style. Y'all know how I feel about that. The boxer puncher. Come on now. But with her, that's not that bad. Boxer puncher, I kind of like it, but she's more of a, she's a counter puncher. I don't know if they have a counter puncher fighting style, but she is more of a counter puncher. And that's gonna fit right into what I'm about to tell y'all here in a bit. So look at her stats. So you got 86 vitality, 84 stamina, 83 speed, 81 strength, 83 defense, 82 heart. Everything's pretty solid. Everything is pretty solid across the board. But here's what you need to know. Here's what you really need to know if you want to choose Natasha Jonas. Look at her accuracy and her counter punching. That's what you want to focus on. Accuracy, counter punching. Now, of course, you're like, how can I be more accurate? Well, you know, picking your shots correctly helps. And that's what Natasha Jonas does very well. And she's a tremendous counter puncher. Tremendous counter puncher. Her vitality is in the, the top tier of all the lightweights in the top tier. Her counter puncher is better than anybody else except Katie Taylor. And that goes for her accuracy as well. Everything else is pretty solid across the board. For traits, there are no traits for Natasha Jonas, but if she was to have a trait, I think Sting Like a Bee would be the perfect trait because of her counter punching nature as a, as a boxer puncher, I would call her that but more a counter puncher than boxer puncher. Let me just be clear. Sting like a bee would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. I don't know if they'll do it, but I will tell you, if you're choosing Natasha Jonas, this is the type of player I think you are if you're choosing Natasha Jonas. You're pretty steady defensively. You're okay battling on the inside. You're comfortable on the outside, but most importantly, your specialty and what you really like to do is counter punch so if you're a counter puncher or you just want to try out a counter puncher and you're decent in those other areas when you're fighting an undisputed choose natasha jonas you won't be sorry great choice and that's really all i gotta say about that that is all i really have to say about it so that's all i have for this one i'll catch y'all on the next one peace